Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Redwood Red Wolf National Park, where we are here with our badgers! Look at these guys, you guys! And people can actually see them! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! I personally have never seen a badger in person, but I am sure it would be an absolute delight. They kind of waddle around like maybe very angry corgis. I'm not sure what I would compare a badger to. Kind of like a skunk color in some way? I'm going to really have to give this some thought. But welcome back, everyone. Today, we are going to be working on trying to make this area even more fantastic for our lovely badger friends, which means teaching people that they need to be very quiet. Do not harass the badgers. Give the badgers some personal space. Let them, like, walk to where they want to go. Oh dear, are we going to have another little bit of a fuss about the badger climbing? Okay, I don't think we're going to have a fuss about the badger climbing now that I have put climb proof fencing around all of their new habitat uh, but hopefully this will work out very well for them and I'm hoping one of the ways we'll be able to give them a lot of privacy is by giving them a lot of burrows to be able to go in so let me see if we actually have the ability to get burrows just yet also who's escaped the, the animal has not escaped everything is fine we get so many false alerts about animals escaping I'm just going to go ahead and pop that one into a box because uh, it was glitching into the ground. I do need to fix that. Uh, there's the beaver pool. Aha! Uh -huh, animal burrow! Oh, this is so cool, you guys! Okay, so let's put the animal burrow like right over maybe here. We'll put one there. And then I want to put another one back here. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so cool. And then I wonder if I can put a third burrow. Oh, look, some of the burrow can be like outside of the fencing. That is so cool. So I'm going to put a third burrow over here. Apparently our American bison are fighting. We'll have to go ahead and take care of that in a minute. And then that will allow them to go down into... Oh, look, that's so cool! Into these badger burrows where they can have a lot of privacy. And then let's see if we can work on getting things a little bit nicer. Oh, now everybody is coming to see the badgers. All right. Well, one of the first things we need to teach people is shh, shh, don't harass the badgers. Be quiet. Oh, I'm so excited. But I feel like we need all hands on deck, everybody working very carefully to help keep security where it needs to be on this particular endeavor because we have never had a walkthrough exhibit before. So let's put in a few like quiet signs and then let's put in some do not feed the animal signs. I might put a couple of those like at this entrance right here too. Like these are the rules you have to read before you can like enter into the badger zone. Oh, that's already helping. Or uh, actually auntie may have gone into a different area. We'll find out soon. But I kind of like that idea, like, do not feed and quiet in front of each of the spots. All right, and I will fix all of the bells and whistles going off because I'm sure that that is just going to, like, stress my badgers out some more. <laughs> Hearing everybody make all that noise all the time. All right. Oh, look, yeah, putting the signs down seems to have really helped, even with the badgers kind of moving between their feet. Um, and then, let's see, we need to give them some toy and food enrichment. And do we have our wonderful researchers researching. We do not! So let's actually get Fox Researcher Jack over here because her place is literally right next to the badgers. And she can start researching the European badger, which would be wonderful. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and have our bald eagle researcher maybe do a bit more woolly mammoth extra bonus research, which I think shows up down here for some unknown modded animal reason. And let's see, oh dear, an animal died. Rest in peace, unknown- Oh! Ah! Ah! Not again! Ah! Oh no! Oh, why do I let this happen? Oh, my chipmunks. Oh, they, this is just inhumane. This is, this is a literal plague of chipmunks has arrived, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right. We need to do something about this because that now that I have actually observed this situation, oh my gosh, there's 28 juveniles, 36 females, and 36 males. I'm just going to leave behind, like, a couple of them. And then everybody else that I can adopt out, we're just going to adopt out. All right, all right. Uh, release to the wild! 1,670! 
<laughs> Credits worth of chipmunks, even though they're only worth like 50 a piece. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that helped a little bit. Um, they're literally starving because there's too many of them. I'm so sorry. I'm going to release another six. Do I still have more to release? <laughs> Most are babies. Okay, I think all of these are babies now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, actually, there weren't quite as many as I thought. Oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully that'll work. Uh, a badger escaped? I don't think a badger escaped. Or not a badger, a chipmunk escaped? We're just having some, some issues there. All right. Oh dear, and my fox escaped. How on earth did you manage that, my friend? All right, we'll get Elof like, taken care of. I still need to name him. Goodness, things are definitely keeping us on our toes here. Very much so. Uh, let's see. And then how on earth did that badger get into a box? All right, so let's get back to taking care of our badgers. We need food and toy enrichment for them. We need education for our guests, like, all over the place. Thank you very much. And then let's see. So, European badger. There we go. I don't think I have everything unlocked for them just yet, but tennis ball seems so cute. Do they do anything? Okay, tennis ball literally did nothing, so that means we have the wrong badger selected. Give me just a second. Let's ooh, let's go with content pack. That will actually give me the right animals since I have the modded animals. There. Oh dear, I only have scarecrow feeders. <laughs> and does a scarecrow feeder feed a badger? Because if so, I'm giving them a garden. It does not. That... Oh, who cares if a scarecrow feeder gives a badger food? I'm going to have scarecrow feeders. Ah, and I can name them after you guys. And we can have a little farmer's market. Oh, I just had an epiphany. I'm pretty sure you could hear the epiphany from the extreme excitement in my voice. But yeah, that's going to be amazing. All right, let's take a random guess at which of these is actually going to give me food for my badgers. Let's try the skittle feeder. No. Let's try the slow feeder. No. So they, like, this is a little tricky to help you out here, my dear. Bamboo feeder? No. Not frozen fish, I don't think. Frozen dog ball? Oh, dog ball! All right, all right. So we're going to put down dog balls. And I think a couple dog balls will probably entertain our badgers a lot. And then let's look for toys. Hmm. Maybe a small colorful ball? Hey, that helps a little bit. So colorful balls move move things a bit. Small ball helps a little bit too. Bubble machine? No bubble machine. Sometimes it's more fun to just like put things down randomly and see what the badgers care about. Uh, ice ball? Ooh, ice ball. They like ice ball. Okay, so that's useful to know. Oh, they need water. What am I doing? Oh my word. Okay, let's give them a little chunk of water somewhere around here quickly. Because I have forgotten to provide them with, you know, water. <laughs> the nourishments of life. Every living thing needs water. Alright, is this going to get really weird? It got a little weird, but it wasn't as weird as I was afraid of. And people just might have some wet shoes. Alright, let me go ahead and put down. So these seems to be having a good time. We're going to have notifications about chipmunks being traded out of the zoo for all of eternity now. Apologies. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And then let's do some heavy soil back here. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun putting ferns around here. Ooh, we should do like soil around that burrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I should put like a cool fallen tree trunk over here. Oh, I love just having an exhibit that comes together whilst we're all together and in on it, right? Vet research complete! Ooh! Look at that! Jack is just like zipping along with the European badgers here. We'll find out if that gave us something unique that we'll be able to offer them because they seem very picky about their toys. I literally just put like some multiple toys down and they're like, eh, I could take it, I could leave it. Uh, plant screen? Oh, come on, everybody should love the plant screen. I should use the plant screen more as decoration. Because I love it a lot. What about this rubbing pad? That seems like something badgers would like. 
Alright, fine. Let's see. European Badger. Sprinkler? Eh, can't see. See? No reaction from Soleil. So either I'm on the wrong track or... Well, yeah, I think I have the wrong animal. Alright, let's see. Maybe I'll come over here. What other toys could I try? We have the cute little tunnel that I love, but it's meant for like finnick foxes and meerkats. Finnick foxes must be so much smaller than I realize. Tennis ball? Neutral on the tennis ball. Should I just add in like a bunch of balls? There we go. Probably? Big old skittle? Nope, no skittle. Do they like the fire hose ball? Nope. Do they like the herb scent marker? Yes! Yes! Oh, finally! <laughs> Alright, well that finally got their interest. So now we have some things they enjoy. And then, oh, a hard shelter! Well, you, you would think the hard shelter would count when it's this. But you know what? Maybe I could make a cool looking hard shelter. Hmm, habitat. Shelter. Let's do any. Is there like a cool rock shelter we could superimpose over the top of the burrow? Because that would be kind of awesome. Jungle shelter. Orangutan shelter. Llama. I forgot about the llamas! Oh, we need to do another... Ooh, medieval house with barn? Ah, this is so cute! Is this going to be Mr. Badger's beans? Oh, this might be Mr. Badger's beans. Is this the house I have over here? It is! Oh, it's so precious. All right, that needs a heart so that I will utilize that again in the future. Because uh, that's really adorable, actually. I'm, I'm going to smack it down over here just so I don't forget about it. Uh, and because we can throw $10,000 around now because we're kind of amazing. All right, there's also Moose Lodge. <laughs> oh, my word. I mean, you could lodge a moose in there. Random props. Pardon? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, since when have I had these toys? There's a well? There's a little like wagon? There's bees? There's a beehive and pumpkins? And look at this, oh this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I had these. All right, we're gonna be having a lot of fun putting these down for sure, friends. Oh, bless the people who make all the random stuff and then I end up Putting it in. All right, who escaped? My bison? Sophia, how? Oh, she got down into the little crevice again, huh? All right, why do I have boxed chipmunks? Who knows? We'll take care of that later. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, we're trying to find, here we go, just this. I was just trying to find something like this. Literally, that's all. A little natural cave that we can kind of put down. Does that count as heart shelter for you guys? Terrain. 3%! It only counted as 3% heart shelter. <laughs> Even though it looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's because they can't reach it for some reason. Um, What about this nest pod? This might actually be really cool. This is meant to be a primate nest pod. But I wonder if I can treat it kind of like a big tree thing. Or like a big bush that they could go inside of. That says they can walk in there. Let's try this out. All right, let's see. Habitat, traversable area. They can indeed go in there. They can no longer come over here. So it makes terrible hard shelter. All right, let's just remove this thing. Sorry, badgers. Now they have more area to walk. Interesting. All right, well, let's carry on because I'm finding some amazing things just hidden inside of oh my gosh there's a whole pumpkin badge siri what have i been holding out on myself like what all right red panda climbing house i might have to look up if there's just a cute little like badger house that somebody has created there's a waterfall that's tropical whoops yeah it's amazing to see do you guys have that happen too where you like throw some things inside of your gallery and you kind of forget about it and then you come back and you're like oh wow that's really cool actually like this is really cool i don't think badgers would ever use it do they even climb trees porcupine 
We don't have porcupines yet, which is such a pity because they make the cutest noises. Have you guys ever listened to a porcupine like eat some food? Because if you haven't, you need to go find a video of a porcupine like eating some like a cor uh, corn on the cob or something like that. ASAP because it's precious. All right, this is actually a really good hard shelter that I could probably edit up to fit our badgers really well. And I think we might exchange one burrow for, th I mean, they're fine to be honest. They're just like, yeah, I could use a hard shelter. That kind of would be cool to have this sort of building in here. And the badgers could go into it if they wanted to or be in their burrow. And it does fit the theme. I think we're gonna do it because it really fits the theme. And that actually made our badgers very happy. All right. Let's come over. We're gonna take away the fire from all of the wood. That does concern me a little bit, you know? Ooh, vet research complete. Also, there's a lot of like chaos going on. Yay! Our wonderful researcher Jack has actually wrapped up her research. And she's made amazing things happen. Here, we'll remove these and kind of move them about. She's made amazing things happen in the realm of badger research. So I'm sure we're going to learn more soon. That actually does look really cute to just kind of have this shelter right over here. And as per usual, we'll go ahead and do the one way glass. With very tiny windows. Oh, I love that. Oh, and our badgers are busy playing. And then that does help because this big, gigantic shelter thing does sort of fit the vibe that this special area has. And speaking of this special area, it's about time that we actually went ahead and we started renovating it so that it, it looked a little nicer. I'm going to actually remove... Oh, I can't remove that whole thing. Oh, dear. All right. Well, I'll take that out. Huh. I'm going to... Peck away, oh my gosh. What is this? It's it's like a giant pile of mossy rocks. Wow, you know what? Fine, I'm kind of impressed. I'm just gonna leave that that there and then the badgers can use as needed. Now I am think the people wish that they were under this hard shelter. <gasps> I wonder if I should have flipped it. Can you imagine? What if I had flipped it like so? So that people could come like Oh my gosh, what if I can make it? Oh, you guys, epiphany upon epiphany. What if I can make it look like you go in the doors of this thing? Oh, that would be so cool. I'm always so grateful that there's, okay, I put it a little bit off. I'm always so grateful that you can just shove buildings and push like in other buildings. All right, let's see. If I remove this, does that do something? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just not going to mess with that. We're just going to leave that there. And we're just going to ignore the doors. For now, I might fix that in the future. But that's kind of cute. Until you get to the part where, you know, everybody's heads get cut off by this thing. All right, fine. All right, I'll remove these log walls. There we go. Okay, that's kind of fine. And now it serves as a sort of shelter people walk through. And then I'll edit up this barrier so that you can see through the other side. To whatever little badgers might be hiding over here. And I'll move the do not feed sign. So that it's a little bit more applicable to everyone. And actually, I think I made it just... There, we'll raise it up a little bit in height. In fact, if I raise it like this in height, then we don't have those problems anymore about people's heads getting bumped into. Hey, I like that a lot. And then it's like, there's just happens to be a couple badgers hanging out over here. Nice. All right, let's grab some of the plants that make up like all of the decorations we do over here. And maybe, can the badgers still walk through these plants? Let me check. Yes, they can. Okay, good. So they can indeed walk through these arrowwood plants, which are fantastic because I love decorating with these. <laughs> They're just so good. They just fill in the sections where you just need some greenery. No questions asked. 
Like this is your budget, your budget quick, quick planting to just fill in a spot. You got a spot filled in. You don't want questions asked. You don't want to see like, mm, is it really a native or, you know, is this actually an invasive species? And we, don't, we don't ask, we don't ask those kinds of questions when we're trying to just like sprinkle in a little bit of plant tape. All right. I will remove some of these though, because that's a bit aggressive even for me. <laughs> All right. We'll get some smaller plants in here. I'm really happy with this because we could just come over and kind of grab a few of the ones we've already used. Glory be to like places we've already established. We'll put in some custard trees, a few here and there, just to fill in corners. Nice. Let's see, do I like those custard trees? I do. Oh, I mean, it, that's not a surprise if I like a tree, but I'm hoping that this will make the badger area just really lush and pretty. And like a lot of you have told me that you really love our little like magical zone we've kind of created for the foxes here and it just seems really special so it means a lot to me to keep this area looking super nice and developing well oh i can't wait to see baby badgers running around i wonder who's gonna pick who <gasps> we need to get names for everybody oh gosh that's gonna be so exciting oh my goodness the foxes are all enjoying some food i think i'll do some moss over here at some point for the guests to walk through. Maybe. I'll have to think, think about how I want that filled in. And then we'll have a few patches where the moss kind of fills in some spots here too, I think. Hmm. Because I feel like that's kind of an important part of what makes this area look so magical is just like these little clusters of unexpected moss. <laughs> Which really, if you're hanging out with me, should really be expected, boss. And the beech trees, that's what we did in the fox area. So once again, thank you past Siri and past us, because we can just come in and we can make all oh, that little like hidden spot I was talking about before. Where we can raise a couple beech trees. And now it, they've dug out a burrow under the beech trees and they also have a spot behind it that they can go in, which is very nice. All right, let's get a couple more beech trees over here. One on this side. And then one on... A couple on this side, I think. How did we get another escapee? I mean, to be fair, I feel like these gates... A, a very enterprising badger could just go... Yates! Oh, it's the babies! <laughs> this is just... This is definitely the, the little adorable spot where the baby bison just get to go on a big, oh, he grew up <laughs> on a big adventure before they grow up. They're like, no, no, I'm going to go down in, into that spot and like go be wild for a minute. All right. Vet research is complete. On badgers. Okay. I think that's kind of glitched out because of our modded zoo, but it happens. And let's see what else. Oh, the Crisodi bush. Yes. I feel like I want this to be one of the dominant bushes for our badger area because the yellow just looks really good and makes the badgers kind of stand out in my humble opinion. All right, we'll be careful not putting too many bushes along the windows where I want people to be able to like see the badgers they're here for. All right, let's put you right over here. Look, if you're coming to my, my facilities, then you're gonna need to fight your way past a couple plants. I'm just gonna give it to you honest. All right, let's put this one maybe over here. I think this is actually getting really good. I don't feel the overwhelming urge to like grab more greens just yet. There we go. I like it, you guys. It's created a terrible traffic jam where everybody is sort of like tangled amongst one another and <gasps> Okay, before I forget, just in case we forget when we come back next time, let me put in... Oh, where's the education? All right. We need we need a calming, soothing voice speaking to us quietly uh, at all times about the glories that are these badgers. So we're going to put in a couple, couple speakers. Whoops, no, not that many speakers. And then let me grab this. Badger. But which badger? This badger! No wait, the other badger! Curses! 
<laughs> I did not think this through. Hopefully I'm teaching people about the right badger. I can only assume. I can only assume I've picked the right badger. All right, this badger. And then, all right. Be educated, all of you, about the wonders that are the badgers. And we will work on uh, trying to maybe even this path out, control where people are going a little bit better, direct people. Oh, this looks so good. It looks like another part of the forest now because we added in all of the plants that we've used before. And now we've made it so people can come and watch our badgers. Yay! So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure. If you could, do please leave a like for our lovely badgers and their brand new set. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.